you. Hello. So anterior cruciate ligament injuries or ACL injuries are a big problem for athletes. Now the uh, anterior cruciate ligament, if you don't know, is an important ligament inside your knee. That's important for any time you're doing dynamic activities like landing or turning really fast. So athletes who play sports like soccer or football, rugby and Gaelic games are at uh, particular risk for this type of injury. And it doesn't only have short-term problems for the athlete, it also has long-term problems. Um, research has shown that in 50% of young athletes who have an ACL injury, they have knee osteoarthritis within 15 years after the injury. And this is a big problem because there's a lot of pain associated with this, uh, decreased mobility, and a general decreased quality of life. And research uh, recently has also suggested that the cause for this uh, high prevalence of knee osteoarthritis is abnormal walking patterns after the ACL injury and subsequent surgery. Uh, and right now it's just a theory, it's not actually proven. Um, and the reason that it's not proven is that the um, tools that science uses now to collect movement information are, take a long time to use and they're quite expensive. So that, that long-term longitudinal data doesn't exist right now due to the sort of cost and time expense of the current standard tools like force plates and motion captions, capture systems as you see here. Um, so in my research what I'm interested in is how new sensor technologies can be used to analyze human movement in a much easier way than uh, traditional tools do. Uh, specifically I'm interested in looking at how inertial sensors can be used to measure human mo movement. Now, these are small mechanical sensors that can be embedded in shoes or clothing or strapped to the body like you see in this photo here. So in the main, the main bulk of my PhD work, my main data collection, uh, we had a group of ACL reconstructed patients walking in the laboratory using inertial sensors and the gold standard uh, motion capture systems. And what we found is that by um, getting some data in a very simple way from these sensors attached to the shank, we were able to identify abnormal walking patterns in this ACL reconstructed group. Uh, specifically, it was the uh, rotation ro rate profile at key points during the gait cycle uh, that allowed us to do this. And I'm hoping that this can lead to a tool that researchers can use to finally figure out if there is a link between abnormal walking patterns and the development of knee osteoarthritis in ACL patients. And hopefully it can also be used by clinicians to um, give them an, an easy way to assess whether their rehabilitation programs are having a positive effect on people's gait patterns. Thank you very much.